Jamaican lottery scamming kingpin gets six years imprisonment in the United States. Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! The Jamaican man, who authorities said masterminded a lottery scam that defrauded at least 95 Americans out of more than 5.8 million US dollars, was sentenced on Monday, October 15 to six years in federal prison. 29-year-old Laverick Willox operated a scam out of a Jamaican mansion where he lived with his mother, Dahlia Hunter, prosecutors said. They eventually charged 27 people and identified victims in at least five states, North Dakota, South Dakota, South Carolina, Texas, and Arizona. Authorities said one of the victims died by suicide. All the defendants have pleaded guilty or have been convicted, and most have been sentenced, including Hunter, who was sentenced last week to one and a half years of time served. The case is being prosecuted in North Dakota because the investigation began there in 2012, a year after an 82-year-old woman lost her life savings. Willocks pleaded guilty in July of 2017 to conspiracy, and the prosecutors dropped 65 other counts of wire fraud, mail fraud, and money laundering charges. He faced up to 40 years in prison, but Assistant U.S. Attorney Jonathan O'Connick recommended only about six years because Willocks cooperated, and his plea deal prompted several other defendants to also plead guilty. Willocks, who stood to address U.S. District Judge Daniel Hovland, apologized for his role in the scheme, but accused the government of overstating his involvement. I am being portrayed as something I am not, he said. The government tries to portray me as a mastermind or a kingpin, or words to exaggerate the role I played here. If I had not been involved, it wouldn't have stopped anything. The Federal Trade Commission estimates lottery scams could be a billion dollar a year industry in Jamaica. The case prosecuted in North Dakota is believed to be the first large-scale Jamaican lottery scam tried in US courts. I know you weren't the first person. I know you won't be the last. It is going on forever. It is a way of life in Jamaica, Avalon told Willocks. Defense attorney Joe Johnson asked for a sentence of two years, about the time Willocks has already served, saying Willocks became a reluctant leader only because he had a college education. Avalon credited Willocks with cooperating but called him a ringleader in sentencing him to the prison time and ordering him to pay US $1.5 million in restitution. Willocks will be eligible for parole after serving about another three years. Hovland in July authored that cash and jewelry seized from Willocks when he was arrested in Jamaica in November 2016 be liquidated and the proceeds doled out to the victims. The property includes the equivalent of nearly $12,000 US dollars and jewelry of unknown worth including gold chains, gold rings, gold and silver bracelets and Rolex watches. Teach them! Hey, yo, hello! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment below. Remember to like and share the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Follow me on social media and check out the suggested videos on screen. This is Teach saying, until next time, walk good, my friends.